Hello and welcome to this episode of Our Program World Today where we are having uh, a look on the press, on the international and uh, local press headlines. And we have with us for discussion General Majdi Amin, who is historian and strategic expert. Thank you very much for being here. Nice to be with you. We start from Ahram Online and Egypt's first authorized protesters shortly. Egypt's first protesters gain authorization under a new protest law held Wednesday in central Cairo, rather Talat Harb Street, went smoothly with no clashes between police and protesters. Hours before the protest interior ministry, sources said the ministry had approved a request by a group to hold a demonstration in central Cairo, the first authorization of its kind since a controversial law on protests came into force Sunday, requiring that all protests receive prior consent from the authorities. And indeed, yes, this protest went on smoothly, but the law itself did not. So your uh, comments. The law of the crowd gathering and manifestation had been issued on 1923. And all the concession courts and the provisions set aside declares all this manifestation law. So this law had been existed, but right now they are implementing it. Right. Rather, let's make this clear, that this law, uh, its first issuance was in 1923. Yes, 90 years back. Yes, 90 years back, when it stipulated that uh, protesters should take authorization from the Interior Ministry before the assembly or before gathering. All the court of concession and the provision set aside declares the improvement of this law. That means the law is existing and the provisions mm. are there. Mm. But right now to activate it or to put it, uh, to put it force. on force mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. now, yes. they, did it no, they did not bring a new law for manifestation. Mm. That means the law is existing, knowing that putting the law in Im to implement the law, it's an inferior matter in Egypt. And no country has the right, or human rights, Actually, has the right mm. to interfere mm. in the Egyptian law in this way. Actually, the law itself steered controversy among Egyptians and even the human rights, the Egyptian Human Rights Council. So what we're speaking about is a law regulating protests. Exactly. Right. Um, why was all this controversy over this law? I mean here, is it uh, a new law that does not exist worldwide? Are we the first to uh, initiate uh, such a law to regulate our uh, protests? Um, wha wha why all this controversy over such a law? The interest of the people who does not want Egypt to be spe speculated right now. That means we have two fingers right working here in Egypt and they are paying good money for it, which is the beliefs, which is the Muslim Brother International Muslim Brotherhood who are paid on last week we 25 cannot, we million. Cannot generalize no, it's okay. We cannot uh, say that the Human Rights uh, Body or Council of Egypt is paid, so we cannot really generalize. But but let's speak facts on the ground. I mean here, do we need such a protest to regulate uh, our protest that has always turned violent? Is Egypt in need to, uh, to put in force a law that regulates protests? Um, why is it very controversial for people? What is wrong with taking the permission from uh, or, or even not taking the permission, but rather uh, giving an, a, an, uh, an advance um, notice before holding such a, a protest. What is so wrong about that? Why is it very controversial? We are the country of institutions, and Egypt always had been under mm. the international law. 
that means we are putting everything on paper on around the, for all the world to watch it and our law is already existing since 1923 after the 1919 revolution so does it contradict the world laws no. regulating cricket no Oh. It's uh, it's uh, in every c in each country has manifestation law, okay. and in Egypt right now, why in implemented? Because right the people right now they think that the freedom to have they have the right to rob the crowd to go on the streets and demolish everything. That means we were not going to have a stable country. Mm -hmm. Turning to the World Bulletin and Egypt's interim president to decide on voting system, and this is also a very important uh, piece of news. And 50 member drafting committee had recommended reversing these proportions, but had left it to the interim president, Ali Mansour, to choose what he sees as suitable. An assembly amending Egypt's constitution has left it to the interim president to decide on the voting system to be used in the parliamentary poll next year. A referendum on the amended constitution is due in December, an important step in the interim government's third map that it says will lead to parliamentary and presidential elections. Let me here clarify what they mean. They mean here the system in which the elections would be uh, held by, through. I mean here, is would it be just on list, individuals? or a mixture between lists and uh, individuals. What we've heard today from the uh, Constitution Committee that um, there are some discussions regarding uh, that they would hold one uh, third for individuals, two thirds for the lists. So this is exactly what they are speaking about. So and we're speaking here about the system in which the uh, the elections of the parliamentary uh, of the next parliament would be the interest of the political parties right now with working in Egypt which they are right now 83 and uh, within the few coming days before the election we're going to be 86 parties political parties so they would like to use the list of course the list will go to hurt Egypt much more than the individual because the individual we were going to see that this man is qualified to be uh, to be to come to be elected or not mm. and this we're going to go through a measure for qualification that means is he ready for this is he is qualified. educated for it mm. for the inter for mm. the law for the security for 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 mm. the interest of some other parties which is mixed up in Egypt right now to use the list. By the list, I'm sure, 110% sure, that the interest of some political parties, which is the opposition, would like to use the list to let the Muslim brother sneak under the list so the security and the international uh, 